There comes a time in even the most hardcore gearhead's life when you're just a bit too mature to drive that squeaky, scrapey, shaky, stripped out track car of your youth. Your back kind of hurts from all those youthful shenanigans. You gotta make a couple calls on the way to work, but you can't because of all the road noise in your stripped out interior. Sometimes you gotta drive the boss to the meeting and you're embarrassed when you gotta ask him to get out so you can clear this speed bump. But you're still you. It's in your DNA to drive a car that makes people say, who the hell was that? So what do you do? You get a limited production, race-inspired, carbon fiber covered, sophisticated AF track car. So sophisticated, in fact, that we brought in Kevin from Vsauce 2 to help me explain the smart boy stuff better. That's right, there's a lot of hype about this car and I'm pretty sure that if we get the edit done fast enough, this will be the first video that doesn't take place at a press event or just standing next to it at an auto show. We brought it from our office in West Los Angeles all the way to Thunder Hill Raceway so you guys can see it stretch its legs. Today we are going bumper to bumper. From carbon fiber hood all the way to also carbon fiber rear wing. On the 2020 Lexus RCF, Track Edition! I mean, look at this thing. It's got a huge rear wing. It's got a carbon fiber hood, bright red interior. This is the Lexus RCF Track Edition. Lexus built it to make a statement to say, hey, just cause I'm a grown up now with a job, doesn't mean that I don't still want to live out my hot boy fantasies of going fast and getting attention. And attention you will get. This thing is dripping in carbon fiber. It's got 472 horsepower and when you drive it, it feels like you're in a video game. We are going to dive deep and tell you guys everything that makes this RCF the track edition. Starting with something that Lexus does very, very well. It's got a super high rev V8. <laughs> you know anything about Lexus, you know about the beautifully over-engineered, smooth as silk, 1UZ engine from the 90s, LS400 and SC400. This is the 2UR GSC. Lexus knows how to do V8s right, and this one is no exception. Now they're giving the RCF a five liter V8, making almost double the horsepower, clocking in at an impressive 472 buff horses and 395 pound-feet of torque. It's the most powerful V8 Lexus has ever built, and it revs all the way to 7,300 RPM, a surprisingly high limit for such a big engine. To get the most out of the V8, engineers slip the car a few tricks. It has launch control, so you can make the absolute fastest sprint possible off the line. And the Torsen rear differential has a higher gear ratio for quicker speed. Go ahead, call me out in the comments. Higher gear ratio is right, right Kevin? The terminology can be confusing. High gear ratio is also what people call short gears and low gear ratio is what people call tall gears. That's for fuel economy and highway cruising and that's not what this car is for. The RCF Track Edition has shorter gears, which gives it even more explosive acceleration. Okay, so according to AMCI certified testing, the RCF Track Edition can go from zero to 60 in a very fast 3.96 seconds, but stopping well is actually more important than going. Otherwise, you'd be hella dead. And I said hella dead. You might say, but James, there aren't different levels of deadness. There's just dead. Well, I got news for you, pal. I'm in Northern California and it's hella everything around here. And it's in the dictionary now. So deal with it. The track edition hauls itself down from speed with big, beefy, buff Brembo, six piston calipers in the front and four piston calipers out back. And because this is not your average Lexus, the brake discs aren't made of average cast iron, no. These are hella sick. 14.9 inch Brembo carbon ceramic brake rotors on both ends. 
Brembo carbon ceramic rotors are made using an elaborate multi-step process. Raw carbon fiber chips are added to a silicon, not silicone, resin powder, poured into a mold, pressed, and heated. Over the next couple of days, it's heated again to over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, more silicon resin is added and it's heated a third time under vacuum to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. This process transforms the original resin into the ceramic material and it takes up to three weeks to complete. It makes the carbon ceramic discs more resistant to extreme heat, brake fade, rotor warping, and the types of things that often plague stock street cars on the track. As an added bonus, they're 50% lighter than cast iron brakes, which reduces unsprung weight and helps the suspension work better. Ultra lightweight, forged 19 inch wheels by BBS take even more load off the suspension and they're wrapped in proprietary Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Michelin tweaked the internal tire structure, rubber compound and tread pattern just for the RCF line, which helps to reduce understeer and improve lateral grip. Also durability. Sticky tires are awesome for handling and braking of course, but a sports car is nothing without a six suspension. The track edition has forged aluminum, double wishbone with a hollow sway bar up front and a forged aluminum multi-link rear. The F adaptive variable suspension is more aggressively tuned and the rear has stiffer suspension mounts. In fact, the entire chassis is stiffer and lighter because this car is hella full of carbon fiber. The roof is carbon fiber. The hood is carbon fiber. The front lip spoiler is carbon fiber. The rear diffuser is carbon fiber. The whole rear wing and the F logo are carbon fiber. Even the back bumper support beam and trunk partition are carbon fiber and you can't even see those things. All the visible carbon does make the car look sick, especially with this matte nebula gray paint that you can only only get on the track edition, but it's not all show and no go. If you haven't noticed by now, Lexus was serious about cutting weight on the RCF track edition. But unlike when I cut weight in high school wrestling and went down to 164, this thing became even more of a beast where I just became tired. The carbon fiber body panels, titanium mufflers, hollow half shafts, and other lightweight components shaved 176 pounds off the previous RCF's total weight. The aluminum suspension bits, forged wheels, and carbon ceramic brakes cut 61.7 total pounds of unsprung weight. With all else being equal, a lighter car will accelerate more quickly and handle better too. After they put the RCF on a diet, Lexus turned special attention to the Track Edition's aerodynamics. Engineers worked with the RCF GT3 race team to incorporate things that add downforce and enhance traction. The carbon fiber front spoiler moves extra air over the top of the car and creates a higher pressure zone above it, pressing it into the ground. Integrated canards at either end of the spoiler direct air away from the front tires and front wheel wells which reduces lift and drag. The front wheel wells actually also are vented to allow air to flow out, which further reduces lift. The under tray is smooth and flat before transitioning to a straight rear diffuser. This reduces drag and turbulence under the car and creates a venturi effect, which sucks the car to the ground. Finally, the carbon fiber rear wing actually reduces drag and can produce up to 58 pounds more downforce than the standard speed activated wing. It all adds up to some seriously planted performance. Okay, so Lexus built a car that absolutely rips. We've established this. But you know what else Lexus is really good at doing? Making nice ass interiors. Both the RCF and RCF Track Edition have gauges inspired by the LFA supercar. You ever heard of it? It's like one of the best sounding cars ever produced. <laughs> the tack is right there on the center like it is in any proper sports car. And it's digital, so it changes depending on what drive mode you're in. It's super fun. Normal mode looks like a normal tack. And the two different sport modes look like something out of a fighter jet. There's a huge 10.3 inch widescreen display, Apple car play and you can tell Alexa to turn on your fancy internet smart lights back home while you're driving there. You can set the mood after a hot date from the driver's seat before you even pulled into the driveway. But here's a little tip from Big Bro. If you're driving this thing right, you're already setting the mood from the driver's seat. Oh, bro.
gross. <laughs> the track edition has red carbon fiber accents on the doors and dash, and the center console looks like brushed gunmetal stainless steel trim. It really divides the cabin and adds to the feeling that you're sitting in a cockpit. You're not overwhelmed by a bunch of buttons and controls. Everything here has a purpose, and there's still a CD player, so you can bump your Spring Break 03 mix on your way to the track. There's dedicated stereo knobs and a drive mode knob right here, so you don't have to do everything through the menus. The only transmission you can get on the RCF and the RCF Track Edition is an eight-speed automatic with downshift rev matching controlled by these paddle shifters right behind the steering wheel. They turn when you turn the steering wheel, which is what I prefer. I don't like when the wheel turns and the paddles don't turn. That's annoying. This is the way to do it. The wheel itself is pretty small and it's thick, so it's got that aftermarket tuner racy feel. The cabin is the perfect amount of quiet and comfortable. I could definitely sleep in here, but let's be honest, I could sleep most places. The RCF isn't so overly insulated that you can't hear the refined notes of that sweet five liter Lexus V8 though. Does it sound good, James? You bet your titanium exhaust it does. Check this out. Then we come to my favorite part of any interior. These hella rad, big bolster, race style seats. And if you like red Alcantara, then the track edition literally has your back. <laughs> The regular RCF comes with bum warmers and bun coolers, but Lexus ripped those bougie features out of the track edition. Sorry, Nolan. They are power adjustable though, cause you know, still, <laughs> it's a Lexus. These seats will hold you firmly in place while you're tearing around the track. Something that you will definitely need because this thing is fast. Listen. We're all gonna grow up whether we want to or not. But that doesn't mean you gotta give up your favorite kinds of toys. Luckily, brands like Lexus are paying attention and building sick cars for adults. The RCF Track Edition combines all the flashy carbon fiber and go fast performance mods the adolescent version of you wants with the polished and refined package that the grown up version of you deserves. If this is what adulting is, then sign me up. Yo, there's a lot of people to thank for helping us put this video together. Most importantly, thanks to you guys, the audience for watching every week, showing up in the comments and supporting Donuts since day one. Because of you guys, we're able to do big stuff like this. And I promise it's only gonna get bigger and cooler and more exciting. Thanks to Lexus for letting us borrow the car and a big thanks to Kevin from Vsauce too. It's awesome to be able to collab with other YouTubers that we're huge fans of. This was really cool. Let us know who else you'd like to see us collab with in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at James Pumphrey. Follow Donut on Instagram and Twitter at Donut Media. You like my shirt? Go buy one. Donutmedia.com. I love you.